Welcome to all our ornamental fish fish viewers. Now today we'll be dealing with building our very first DIY tower aquaponics system. Want to know more? Stay tuned. Welcome to all our ornamental fishwiz viewers. Now today we'll be building and we'll be dealing with our very first DIY tower aquaponics system. Now since we have and we deal with this rich naturally fertilized water we decide that we are going to try our hand at aquaponics. Now you'll be needing a couple of tools and on our table we have our heat gun we have our saw we have our ruler and we have our markers now this is a piece of legal paper that are folded in two so a sheet of legal paper which measures eight and a half inches by 14 inches that i divided into three equal parts and I made that marking. So then I will be wrapping that paper around my pipe to make the markings accordingly because I want to divide my pipe into three sections. So I want three line going down and then some vertical lines going upward. So I'll be doing three vertical lines downwards and then some horizontal lines across as to where I'll be making those cuts to prepare that area for the growing area in that tower system. So I'll be just making those marks to get my vertical lines done. finished using my paper to get those markings evenly placed around the pipe I'll be using a 36 inch ruler to make that marking straight down now this piece of 6 inch pipe that I'm working with I'm working with a 6 inch piece of pipe and this piece of pipe measures around five feet so i'm starting my first tower build at five feet so therefore the first three feet at the top i'll be creating those growing that growing area for the plants so therefore i'm making that marking for my vertical lines running down so there if you look closely you see those lines which i have now running downward so my pipe is divided up into three equal parts
now after I finish making all my vertical lines which is three vertical lines going downwards I'll be going across now with some horizontal lines now these lines will mark the area where I'll be opening up the pipe for my grow area now I've decided to have my grow area seven inches apart so therefore I'll be making some markings seven inches apart so from the top seven inches and downwards seven inches going straight down so I'll be making those seven inches mark to have my vertical lines my horizontal lines going around the pipe So after making all my markings for my horizontal lines on all my vertical lines one of the things to get my line around straight and correctly I'll be using a elastic band for a guide now you can use anything that you can wrap around you can use a piece of cord or even a piece of wire to help you in making those marks right around the pipe so I'm using a elastic band so I'll be using my marker to just make that mark right against the elastic band right around my pipe so I get that line connecting and evenly right around my pipe so as soon as i'm finished doing one i will move the elastic band downwards to and ensure that it's at all three markings and then i will use my marker to draw that line around the pipe After I've made all my horizontal lines now I'll be doing a cut on the paper which is 
three and a quarter inches wide now that three and a quarter inches wide i'll be finding the center also of that piece of paper so i'm cutting a piece of paper three and a half three and a quarter inches wide so three and a quarter inches wide and then i'll be putting a marker in the middle of that paper now that marker i'll be using that marker to line it up against my horizontal and vertical lines so the top area of the paper would be aligned to all my horizontal lines and then the center marking would be aligned to my vertical line so therefore i'll be making that marking as to how wide i'll be cutting the opening in the pipe Now after I finish making those markings, I'll be using my saw to make those cuts, those horizontal cuts along the pipe so that three and a quarter inches width, I'll be making that cut accordingly, three and a quarter inches wide. So after I finished cutting and I finished all the cutting along my first line, I'll be using my heat gun to soften the PVC pipe. Now I'll be using a regular malta bottle. I'll be using a regular drink glass bottle. Um, you can use any size that suit your need or that you have available but I'll be using a malta bottle to create that opening to open up that area of the pipe that was cut so therefore the heat gun allows the pipe to be softened and to be remolded so therefore also ensure that you have a piece of wet cloth or a basin with some water and a piece of cloth so as soon as that bottle goes in and create that area you would place 
the wet cloth over that hot here so that the pipe will go back to its original state quickly and the mold will form perfectly so there you have it as we did our first and our second holes to show you how it would look like so therefore you use the heat gun to heat the area you use the bottle to open up the area and then you would need that piece of wet cloth to cool down the area effectively and quickly that it will remain in that open state. So here as you see I have completed my first vertical lining down so therefore I've opened the areas and that's my first vertical line so I'll be going ahead and I'll be doing the other two lines straight down
so this is the finished product this is the finished tower and as you realize there are three areas around in which we can plant so therefore this is the first stage of building my DIY tower aquaponics system so therefore I've built my tower first and I'll be showing you a part two of how I go about setting up this tower with the piping and the pump and the water and how it is recirculated thanks much for joining us for this another insightful ornamental fish whiz video please remember to subscribe to our channel so that you can assist us in creating and uploading ornamental fish whiz.